Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at dropping the white out of some of the Photoshop legacy patterns so that you're getting black and transparent instead of black and white. And thank you to the viewer who actually asked for this video. I'm going to start by creating a brand new document. I'm not using artboards, it's just a standard screen size document. I'm going to add my pattern using a fill layer. With layer, new fill layer, I'll choose pattern. Now I've already added the legacy patterns into Photoshop and if you're not sure how to get these legacy patterns back into Photoshop 2020 and 2021, then I'll link to a video that will show you how to do that in the description below. But what I want is one of these patterns that is a black and white pattern, not black and transparent. So let's just go and grab this diagonal line one. I'm going to increase the scale because it's going to be a little bit easier for you to see what's going on. When I zoom in, you'll see that this is a black and white pattern and it's also pretty fuzzy. I'll open up the layers panel. What I'm going to do is trash this background layer. I don't need that. I just want my pattern layer. I'm going to add a fill layer this time, a color fill layer, layer, new fill layer, and then solid color. I'll use this sort of turquoise color and I'll drag the color fill layer below my pattern layer. In a minute what we want to happen is we want to be able to see through these white areas to this color layer below. To do this quickly and easily, you'll click on the pattern fill layer and go here and click the FX icon and choose blending options. The tool we're going to use is this Blend F and we're going to use the topmost slider. And what this is saying to Photoshop is if this top layer here, the one that we've got selected, is white, we want to see through it. And so what we're going to do is drag on this little slider here. And the further I pull over, the less white I'm seeing and the more of the blue colour underneath. Now you can determine where the sweet point is for your design. If I pull it over quite a ways, I'm going to get quite a good look to my design. But if I want the black lines to be a bit thicker, I may not want to pull over so far. When you're using this Blend F slider, you can also split this indicator here. So hold down the Alt key on a PC, Option on a Mac, and you can drag these apart. What that does is it says to Photoshop every colour of white and grey up to this point here should be fully transparent. These should be partially transparent so you'll get a sort of easing of the move from transparency through to black and from here on over it would be fully opaque. And so you can adjust these to get the effect that you want. Now what I'm looking for is a slightly fluffy edge because I want to show you how you can neaten up these lines but still keep them at this sort of dimension. Once you've used the Blend F option on a layer, in some cases you may want to settle this. You may want to fix it in place. This is how you're going to do it. You'll add a new blank layer into your document and place it immediately under this layer that has the black and transparent pattern on it. Select your black and transparent pattern, right click and choose Merge Down. Now you need to merge down onto an empty layer to be able to effectively remove the white permanently from that layer and be just left with a black and white pattern. So that's what we've got here. If I double click here and change the color, you'll see that we're able to change the background color and the pattern is still black and transparent. It is a little bit fuzzy around the edges and so if you want to defuzz it a little bit, this is what I would do. Grab this layer and drag it onto this new icon to make a duplicate of it. Then the topmost version of the layer has to be the topmost version because blend modes work from the top down. Set its blend mode here to multiply and you can see immediately how much darker that's become. This is the before, this is the after. Now this is two separate layers, so again if you want to sandwich this in or sort of bake this effect in, just right click and choose Merge Down. So we now have a black and white pattern where we've removed effectively the white from the pattern to make it transparent. 
and we have a fill layer underneath that allows us to change the fill color so the transparency the color that you're seeing through the transparency can be whatever color you choose in this fill layer before we finish up i have more photoshop training at skillshare.com when you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes, including over 250 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and typically mine will be better. Please feel free to share this coupon with family, friends and co-workers. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you've learned things about working in Photoshop of which you were unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.